Hey, what is going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Today, we take a look at a topic that is very, very relevant to the current situation that we are facing on a worldwide scale. Uh, there's a lot of potential network and infrastructure issues that could kind of be coming to the forefront very soon for network providers, whether it's home or wireless, due to the fact that a lot of people are going to be working from home and working remotely away from their current workplaces and this includes students and medical staff and all the above so networks are going to be put on some additional strain i'm going to talk about that in this video and what the carriers as well as the home providers are doing in terms of their networks before i get started with today's video please turn your attention to the description box the smt patreon page one two and three dollar tiers to get access to exclusive content videos perks interactions live streams join a community of like-minded network tech enthusiasts i would also like to turn your attention to the second channel sneed mobile tech live streams where the live stream podcasts get archived and of course the sneed tech twitter handle is there and of course megadon.net never need another social media platform ever again no algorithms no ads no tracking megadon.net now let's take a look at what uh, several carriers and providers have already mentioned of what they're going to be doing and dealing with you know these current problems in terms of the different uh, I guess we'll just call them medical diagnoses moving forward. So Verizon is going to be increasing network infrastructure by $500 million for 2020. So initially they were slated to uh, utilize a capex of 17 to 18 billion. They kind of gave that little bit of breathing ground there. It's now being increased from 17.5 to 18.5 billion. So the reason they are trying to account for the telecommuting and online learning due to the current illness season. Uh, businesses, schools, organizations are obviously going to be sending people home, having them work remotely as much as possible or completely, uh, and this is probably going to be increasing wireless demand. Uh, we can anticipate that. No current changes in network traffic or usage as of now being reported from Verizon, but they are preparing for it. Also, uh, in terms of dealing with any type of wireless and wireline situations, hospitals, first responders, government officials, you know, this type of access could lead to an increase in usage. So AT&T also mentioned in this piece, they are waiving data caps for all customers on their home internet plans, those on unlimited provisions. So DSL limits, which are currently set at 150 gigs and 250 gigs, those high speed limits will be completely lifted and they will not be paying for any overages. Uh, those that are on the cable or high speed plans are usually capped at one terabyte. That's going to be lifted as well. Anyways, uh, they traditionally have charged $10 for each 50 gigabyte overage and uh, they've been doing a maximum uh, fee of $100 to $200. Um, I will say that only unlimited internet customers are the gigabit customers from AT&T, so they're obviously unaffected by this. And I think they've also done $30 add-ons if ever you wanted the unlimited. So they're going to be removing that in the foreseeable future. Uh, the one thing I will say, whether it's you know, the wireless side with Verizon or any other carriers, they haven't spoken to the current issue of what's going on. But you think about what Verizon is obviously going to be dealing with and what they're kind of going through with their network. Video bandwidth is truly the only great concern, I think, in this situation. You think about virtual meetings and whatnot, video streaming, video chats, Zoom, Blackboard, all these platforms. And if they're connecting and using video, that's going to be a lot of strain on the network. Uh, peak times are probably going to be really unpredictable in the foreseeable future. Uh, there's probably going to be less severe spiking at the normal peak times, but definitely there's going to be some unpredictability in usage. Interesting fact that I learned in my research today, Verizon operates with a 20 to 25% capacity margin. I wonder if that means they're going to kind of go... Uh, this will kind of go unnoticed and it won't be a general concern, but it looks like they're going to back it up with some network redundancy and some infrastructure upgrading. Anyways, to kind of take this to the next level, Comcast, another provider, no official word on any uh, management of unlimited caps getting lifted, but they are mentioning that their low income plan, which gives uh, low income consumers access to home internet at 15 megabits per second download, two megabits per second upload. They're getting upgraded to a 25 download and three megabit per second upload. Uh, this is called Internet Essentials. What they're doing is they're also gonna be giving new customers 60 days of the service for free for those low income consumers. 
a plan that typically costs $9.99 per month, and they will be maintaining that speed upgrade in the future. So it looks like a general upgrade. No word from Altice, HughesNet, Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, or Viastat, but this is what we know currently, as well as Verizon. They haven't commented on the... Um, you know anything specifically on you know data caps or anything like that uh charter and verizon files don't have data caps on home usage so they won't be affected by this uh waiver of data caps is being pushed by the fcc so it looks to be an initiative democrat representative of the fcc jeffrey starks is calling for the 60-day relief and uh democrat jessica rosen warsel is also in support of this they've been tweeting they've been indicating the support of this plan no comment from republican fcc membership um including ajit pai for what it's worth expect more of these lifts and waivers i think for more companies moving forward but that's pretty much it for this announcement you guys tell me what you think of the predicted upgraded needs from verizon let me know what you think of the lifting of the caps I don't know, maybe there's something more companies can do if you feel like they could. I think they could, uh, whether it's the home providers or the wireless providers, but it's an interesting development and I think it's gonna be ongoing, probably gonna change in the future and we'll see more of this moving forward. Uh, so drop me a line, let me know what you guys think of these developments and these news. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, the pulse of the people of the SMT nation. And if you are appreciating these frequent and daily uploads from the SMT, please do like this video. And if you wanna do me a solid, share it to your favorite social medias. And before you get going, you wanna make sure that you come on back uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you're new also activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the smt and uh you know hang around watch some of these other videos i've hand selected for them check those out greatly appreciate it thank you so much i hope you guys have a great rest of the day be safe out there be healthy and hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video i am the smt and we'll see you guys soon peace